Hello piggy people. So today I'm going to give you a tour of the pet room. We're going to look at all the little knickknacks that are on the shelves, what's in the cupboards, and I'm going to share with you everything that we use. So stay tuned. So first this pig room is home to 10 piggies. They're all in CNC cages that are up on custom made wood stands that my dad put together. Every cage is three grids wide. So in the first two cages, that's Annabelle and Annalise. They are two sister skinny pigs who I'm working on rebonding. And this back cage here is Angus and Autumn, a neutered male and a female. And then this large cage is home to six guinea pigs, one neutered male, and five females. Now off to the left hand side we have a shelf up here. So this is our thermometer and it also reads the humidity. So it's important to keep their humidity to a comfortable temperature. Too much humidity with hay could cause issues with mold. Not enough humidity would be very dry for them to be breathing in the air. So you'll see there's a little comfort zone. So in the winter I do have to have a humidifier in here and sometimes in summer a dehumidifier to keep it comfortable. And since I have hairless guinea pigs I like to keep the temperature in the 70s. So the heater's on right now, so usually the room sits about 72 to 73 degrees and is nice and comfortable. And then up on the shelf is our emergency medical care kit. So this has a whole ton of stuff in it for emergencies and for just their regular standard care of like nail clipping, etc. If you guys want to see a video on what I have in my medical care kit, I'll have that up in the iCards. So underneath all of the cages is where I store our pads for their beds and all of their cozy beds. So the bins are rubber made 189 liter tubs that fit perfect. Right when you walk in the room here on the right hand side is where I keep their hay. So I use Oxbow. We have an Orchard Grass and a Timothy. These are both 50 pound boxes. I find it's a lot better for price wise to buy in bulk versus the smaller bags at the pet store. And also since I have 10 pigs, we go through a lot of hay. So over in this right hand corner is our cleaning corner for down here. We have our large garbage can, dustpan and broom. We have our mini dustpan and cat litter scooper. That's what I use for spot cleaning twice a day. I have some gloves because I am allergic to hay so I find wearing gloves while I'm tidying up really helps. This is a spray bottle that has vinegar and water. That's what I use to clean off the coroplast. And then up here we have a little cabinet. So this first section, this is our pellet scoop. I do not measure out pellets anymore. Back in the day I used to but now that we use Sherwood I pretty much free feed because they don't overeat them and they're healthy for however much they want to eat. Any of these guinea pigs you're going to see around the room are lawn ornaments that I picked up from a local shop. I don't know where else you could get them but they're super cute. Uh, we have coconut oil. Coconut oil has so many uses. I use it for the skinny pigs to clean off any oily skin buildup. It works great for grease glands, for putting on foot pads, for cleaning out ears. So many uses. Up here are urinary support tablets from Sherwood. I give these to all the guinea pigs once in a while, but Apple is the one who gets it morning and night. She does have a problem with bladder stones, so if you want to know more about that, I'll put that up in the iCards as well. Up on this shelf, we have scissors. These are really heavy duty scissors that cut zip ties so well, so I keep them in here. I have a beast of a coconut oil jar, another one. 
some pens. I have a calendar off to the side where I keep track of if anybody's on meds or anything is important is happening. I keep track on the calendar. This is pecans meds that she gets morning and night so it's sitting out because we use it so often. Now in here we have this is betadine so an iodine it's to clean out any wounds or anything like that that's not going to sting and that isn't going to dry out your pig. Uh, we have vitamin C. I don't supplement vitamin C unless somebody is going through a surgery or is ill because we have vitamin C in the veggies I give. The pellets from Sherwood are packed full as well and also the urinary support tablets have some. This is a contact lens solution, just saline. It doesn't have added extra crap in it, so I use this to flush out any eyes. So say if they got a little bit of hay in their eye, some kind of eye injury, that's what I use. Back here are some meds that we've been prescribed. So we've got some antibiotics, uh, some fungal meds, and Medicam. And I have some antibiotic eye ointment. So I keep all of that stuff here. Now down here on the floor is our Lavoite air purifier which we have running 24-7 to help clean, e clean the air and to get some airflow going. So if you guys want to know more about that I did a review on it so I'll put that up in the iCards. I really enjoy it. And speaking of Lavoite, we also have a Lavoite humidifier. So in the winter it does get pretty dry in here so I have this to keep the air nice and moist and perfect for the piggies. So again I do have a review on this if you want to see all about it it'll be up in the iCards. So here is a medical cabinet that my mother-in-law got me. It is so cute so I have it set out on the shelf. I need to restock supplies in it so it's a good place to put like q-tips, cotton pads, anything like that that I use fairly often. And next to it is a poster of Kelvin. So this was done for a special from Piggy Parodies. He has an Etsy shop and sells like t-shirts, posters, mugs of all these adorable designs that he has created. He did this custom for us after I lost Kelvin. And isn't it a beautiful thing? Little superhero Kelvin. So there's more lawn guinea pigs down below. This was a painting that a fan did for us which was so nice. It came from one of my most favorite pictures of Kelvin and Hobbes when they were outside. Absolutely love it, so that's a really nice keepsake. Down here we have memorabilia from Seymour. He was my rabbit who unfortunately had to be put to sleep because of cancer. Seymour was so adorable. So that was his name tag. And there was his carrot water dish and I had that sign up there for him. Now over here is our magazine article that we did for the guinea pig magazine that was on Kelvin and Hobbes, so I framed it to keep it nice. Have our scale, because we weigh our guinea pigs to make sure that they're not sick, because the first sign of illness will often be that they have weight loss. Here is a box of pellets. We get 10 pound boxes of the Sherwood pellets. And we do use the new one that's the all Timothy based. So I was talking about the vitamin C earlier. So 2000 milligrams per kilogram in here. So there's lots. So it says basically your guinea pig will get about 30 milligrams of vitamin C with one tablespoon or more worth of this so they easily get enough for the day. So down below we have some more storage. So right there is our pumpkin bed that Valerie made and somebody kindly sent it to us for my birthday. Super cute cozy. I have not used it for anything but pictures so far because I just don't want to wreck it. So in here are extra water bottles, uh, zip ties, garbage bags, some forage, a heat pad, just kind of random stuff. And then beside there is our really super large heat pad that I put in the bottom of a cage if somebody's recovering from surgery to keep them warm. And then over here is our heater. 
So this is a Honeywell heater that I absolutely love. It oscillates and you could, you know, change the temperature. So as soon as it comes up to 23 degrees, it shuts off. And now it's turning back on because it went to 22. And then it'll shut off again once it gets up to temperature. So I love having this to keep the room warm. If I didn't have skinny pigs, I probably wouldn't really have to worry because the house furnace is on, but I find it just doesn't keep this room quite warm enough for some of the skinny pigs. So in this room we have two beautiful windows that are at ground level that when it's nice out I can open up to have some fresh air flowing through. It's just finally starting to be sunny outside most days so we're in March. Basically we have winter from like November to the end of March and some of those days are just like gray blah skies. But finally I get to open the windows a bit so that the pigs can get some natural light in here. During really cold winter months I keep them closed, like the drapes closed, the curtains closed, everything like that to keep heat in. So down here we just have some spare grids. A lot of those are from doing like the little tops parts or barriers that I've had that I've taken away as we've bonded pigs together. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!